What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are test fishing the brand new Mike Buka's Baby Bull Gill. It's gonna be a fun one. All right, y'all, so we are just about to rig up the Baby Bull Gill for the first time. You guys can pick this up at Carl's Bait and Tackle. Today's episode is actually sponsored by Catch Company, who has done the collaboration with Mike Buka to come out with the Baby Bull Gill. You guys are probably already familiar with the Baby Bull Shad, so a little bit about this Baby Bull Gill, y'all. Mike Buka has created one of the most revered swim bait lineups on the U.S. market. Catch Co. and Mike worked to bring modified versions of these revolutionary swim baits to the masses without compromising Mike's rigorous quality standards. The result, the instant classic Baby Bull Gill. First cast, got one. A few minutes later, guys. You can see the profile is a little bit larger. Bait is a little bit heavier. It's supposed to sink a little bit faster. I think we're gonna be able to have a lot of fun with this guy. We're gonna showcase its best features, talk about how and where to fish it, and hopefully catch some bass in today's episode. So let's go ahead and get this thing rigged up. Today we're gonna be rigging this up on 15 pound Guggen Squad fluorocarbon using a Palomar knot. I have a video on how to tie this knot as well. Go ahead and look for that if you are unfamiliar with the Palomar. An excellent knot with fantastic strength. Carl's Bait and Tackle has got us hooked up with everything we need. Check us out with the clippers, man. These things are legit. Okay, so enough talk. Let's get this thing in the water. Immediately, I can see it's falling pretty fast. So I'm going to tighten up my tension just a little bit. For the easiest casting, you just want a slow fall out of your bait when you open that spool. This thing looks fantastic and bluegill are all over in the Texas ponds and lakes. So there's gonna be no shortage of bass that are looking to feed on this guy right here. Let's check the action. No way. Dude, this thing has an S swim like you would not believe. Literally looks like a real fish swimming through the water. I have no doubt we're gonna get a bite on this thing. Let's go for that first fish. Got him, first cast. First, first cast. <laughs> I figured as much, man. I knew they couldn't resist this guy right here. Devin's throwing the baby bull shad, but this one sinks a little bit lower. I think that might've been what got this guy's attention. And like clockwork, man, this brand new swim bait is pulling in the bass. Hot off the press, man. Pliers, Carl's bait and tackle, baby. Thank you, sir. <laughs> first catch, first cast. I'm liking this bait, I gotta say that. There you have it guys, first catch. I didn't even talk about how to bring this thing in and my retrieve. We will talk about that in just a second, but let's talk about those tack sharp hooks that did not let that fish come off. We also got this like, what is this? It's like a brush tail, soft, so that it's not like when those fish go to grab it, it kind of gets in the way. Bluegill profile baits can sometimes be tricky because those bluegill are very tall. So when you get into some of those larger bluegill baits, it's hard for some of those bass to actually eat it. This should bring in more strikes and you'll attract some big fish as well, but it's a smaller profile. So a smaller bait, those bass can really grab this thing without a problem. Let's talk about how we're fishing it though. We've got this guy on a 7.6 medium fast rod. Not necessarily needed in this application. It's not the heaviest of swim baits. It's uh, just kind of what we had rigged up with some 15 pound floral carbon but you can throw this thing on literally i would throw this thing on something like seven foot medium heavy it's got those treble hooks so something with like a little bit of a softer tip when those guggen squad reaction rods hit that's what i'll be throwing this guy on let's go ahead and make our next cast and that first one was literally just a consistent slow retrieve just like this if i get close to cover or an object like say one of those columns over there or that drain on the far side maybe i'm going by like some brush that i see in this corner I might give it a fast little reel twitch and let it pause. Yeah, see with a quick half turn twitch of the reel, it gives it some erratic movement. And sometimes when you do that right next to where you assume those bass are gonna be at, next to cover, next to odd objects in the ponds and the lakes, you'll usually get a strike right then and there. You will fire those bass up, trigger that predatory response, and they will come in for the kill. This thing is sick. I actually like the rate of fall. It's a slow sinking bait. So you're not gonna worry about getting caught up in too much stuff. If you're familiar with the waters you're fishing, you know that you can kind of count it down. And if you keep a consistent retrieve, you shouldn't really be getting down there and stuck on stumps, rocks, things of that nature. But you do wanna work it close to the cover. So the slow sink is perfect. It's starting to mist on us. I'm trying to keep it from getting on the lens, but it looks like we got a little bit. Oh, we just got hit. Pull up and I and I'm swerving. A few minutes later, guys. This one's a little bit bigger, I think. Feeling a little bit more resistance. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's probably a two pounder right there. Nice one. Yeah, I'm dishing this. Yeah, they talk 
I would say they are liking the new baby bull gill. Wow. Here we go, get you a little bit of that. And every time your girl around, she be watched the way I'm dripping through it. Try your luck. Test me in again, we let it rain. Cause I'm start it up. Got that black and white, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get him back in the water. Fifth number two. In just minutes. Nuts. All right, guys, so I'm just varying things up now after fish number two. I'm uh, I'm kind of slowing it down a couple casts, speeding it up, just kind of seeing what these fish like. And then also, as you slow it down, it, it goes a little bit lower. So maybe the fish are hanging out closer to the bottom. Maybe they're on the move and closer to the surface. I'm just trying to uh, gauge that aspect of it while I'm looking for the third fish on the brand new baby bullgill. Baby bass. Oh, God. Oh, I got smacked. Baby bass color. They are liking this thing. Hey, feel I'm in the mood. My first connection on the bluegill, not landed. Oops, there we go. Got him. First cast after making a move. Oh, 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 he actually came off. Yeah, I was gonna say, looks kind of good over here, a little bit of vegetation. And uh, they're in the area. You want to switch me? Switch me. Oh gosh. Thought I had a bite. Oh, got him. He came back for it. <laughs> Devin and I just switched things up. I'm on the baby bullshad now. <laughs> it's 3 and 0. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Devin is like. <laughs> I don't know how to fish anymore. <laughs> Let me get those pliers. This is what you get for always out fishing me in every video we film. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. The baby bullshad. I'm working this one a lot slower because it does sink much slower if i work this one as fast as i've been working the uh baby bull gill he's just gonna come right up to the surface because he's a little bit lighter so like i say working it a, a tad bit slower there we go third fish for me i think yeah third fish landed see ya and i'm pretty sure he hit it like five to ten seconds earlier and then came back for it because i felt what i thought was a hit All right guys, and that wraps things up. Devin and I actually kind of got rained out. You saw I was misting for a minute, but what a fun day and a fun episode sponsored by Catchco. So sick, man. One of our few partners over on this channel and we always love it when they drop sick new baits, especially this guy right here. Honestly, a swim bait so accessible, so affordable, so unintimidating to throw. Uh, I'm very excited about this one, you guys, and we only got one color. So I'm on Carl's Bait and Tackle. All you gotta do, it's brand new right there front and center when you get to the website, Baby Bull Gill. There's still some colors available and actually some of my favorites. So some of the baby bass patterns it look like are already gone. They're gonna be back in stock soon, but get you some of that crappie color I was throwing today. It's still available. Uh, the, what is this color right here? The Pearl Bone? Wouldn't even second guess that color right there. We've had tons of luck on the Baby Bull Shad in that color, so I have a lot of confidence in this, especially a lot of the ponds and lakes with Shad. Gotta grab this color. And you just got a multitude of different, I think there's six different options, so whatever you see, cruising around in your ponds that those bass are feeding on, try and get a color to match the hatch. And at a price of $10.49, literally 10 bucks for Carl's Club members, it cannot be beat. Get you a couple guys and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.